Okay, so in this video, we're going to do uh, <clears throat> an example of the uh, second order Runge Kutta we developed in the last video. So the same problem uh, as we solved for the Euler, y dash equals xy, and you have the uh, initial condition y of 0 equals 1. So here's the method just uh, written for you as a quick summary. yn plus 1 is equal to yn half k1 plus k2. Then we have k1 is equal to hfx and, y, and yn, and then the uh, the same the the right hand side of the equation x n plus h y n plus k one. Now of course I uh, I am assuming you already know what the f is, but as we compare, remember we are comparing this this formula that you see here. Okay, is being applied to this differential equation. Okay, y of x zero equals y zero. Okay, so this means here's our uh, basic uh, comparison. And remember that your fx and yn, therefore, is going to be just xn times yn. So wherever you see that, that's what's going to happen. So fxn plus h, yn plus h, right? And of course, uh, uh, x0 and y0, uh, whatever they might be. So in this case, x0 is here, it's 0. Okay, and y0 is 1. Okay, so this is the kind of little glossary here of uh, what we're going to be doing and where these formulas uh, are going to be applied. So our formula for this particular problem are going to be xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus 0 0.1, uh, yn plus 1 is as it is, uh, there's two elements that we need to calculate in that, and that's k1 and k2. Um, k1 will be 0 0.1 times xn and yn, right? And k2, anyway, so, and k2 will be 0 0.1 into xn plus 0 0.1 into yn plus k1. So those are the formulae that we're going to be using and now we're going to start calculating. So let's start um, the first uh, when k when n is 0 we just have x0 which is 0 and y0 which is uh, 1. Let's move to the next the first value to calculate will be x1 and x1 as you can see is we're using as shown here this formula so it's going to be x0 plus 0 0.1, so that's going to be 0 0.1. Now, k1 is going to be 0 0.1 times x0, which is 0, into y0, which is 1, so that's easy, it's just 0. k2, on the other hand, it's going to be, um, let's see, 0 0.1, and it's going to be x0, which is 0, plus uh, h, which is 0 0.1, and it's going to be y, y0, which is 1, plus k1, which is 0. So that's equal to 0.1 times 0.1, so it's equal to 0 0.01. Now we come to our y, our y1, in fact, is what we're calculating. This is the formula we're using. yn plus 1 is yn plus half k1 plus k2. So that obviously that means y0 first, so it's going to be 1 plus um, half into k1 plus k2, so that's 0 plus 0 0.01. So that's equal to 1.005. So we've got our first value from the form, from Runga cut. Let's move further. Uh, next step, calculate the next value here. So that's going to be 2. This is going to be 0 0.2. This is going to be, of course, h again, which is 0 0.1 times um, x1. x1 is 0 0.1. And uh, y1, y1 is 1.005. And that turns out to be, okay, here, 0 0.1 times x1. x1 is, now remember, it's 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 is the value of h. Then we have y1, y1, 
we just calculated above is 1.005 okay plus k1 and k1 now is 0.01005 so that turns out to be equal to, so that's our value of K2. And so Y1 will now be, um, Y2, sorry, will be Y1, which is 1.005 plus a half into K1 plus K2, which is 0 0.01005 plus 0 0.020301. And that turns out to be equal to 1.020176. Okay. And if you go further, I'm going to give you a few more values just here, um, of which I am just going to give you the answers to 0.3. And so here I've added a few more things. So I've gone up to 0 0.4 and calculated the rest of the values. Here you'll see. We know the exact solution to this particular uh, differential equation. It's a separable equation, so y is equal to e to the x squared. In case uh, you're not sure where I got that from, well, remember, this is an equation dy dx equals xy is what we're solving. So it's uh, dy over y equals x dx, which means when you integrate both sides, you end up with log y equals x squared over 2 plus some constant which ends up giving us um, a e to the x squared over 2. y of 0 equals 1 means that a is equal to 1. So therefore, y is equal to e to the x squared over 2. So this is x squared over 2. So that's our solution. Just a quick revision for you if you don't know. But anyway, remember, the reason we're solving such a problem is so that we can compare our method with a benchmark. We need to test how do we know if the method is actually giving the correct answer. So this is a typical thing done when methods are being developed. So it's good to see how the method is actually performing. So anyway, you'll see here values calculated. So when, uh, so what the way you calculate this is when x is 0, when x is 0, you put that in here, e to the 0 is 1. When x is uh, 0 0.1, you put that in here, x squared, so point e to the point is 0, 0.01 divided by 2, which is point, that's point 0, 0.005, so e to the point 0, 0.005 is 1.005. You can check that, uh, hopefully. So, uh, and so on and so forth, you calculate all the values. Now, the thing to see here, the thing that you need to note here, is that you'll see that the values are uh, quite close, in fact, quite close. In fact, the errors are as follows. So if I were to make yet another column here uh, of the actual error, which is the absolute value, remember, it's the absolute value and the difference between the exact and the y. So these two columns, it's the difference between these two values, these two values, the absolute value of the difference. So that will turn out to be some of the errors. You can see they're quite small. Um, in fact, they're a h order h squared or a little bit less than that, close to that, in fact. And the h squared in this case was, would be 0 0.01. So those are a little small, but keep in mind these are the first few values. The values themselves are quite small. As you go further down, uh, you'll see that it will get a little less accurate. Uh, in fact, uh, I can tell you that uh, if you go down all the way to 1 for, uh, to, I think, 10, let's say, uh, you'll find that's at 1. The value uh, val values here turn out to be so the error there is 0 0.0008. Now that that's almost 0 0.001, and of course 0 0.01 is what we're expecting. But remember, there's a derivative term, the the second derivative term, and also it's De Euler's method, and of course the error is calculated. So that can help you to perhaps set up um, the Excel files for looking at the second order Runge cut. We'll stop here. Thank you.